were going on officially, I suppose, would be four and a half years now. We talked about it for a long time before that and took various steps towards actually doing it commercially before that point. This was my idea, which sometimes I don't want to admit to. Um, so the, the concept was, I, I felt Tumut needed a tourist attraction. I like beer and, and I think everybody in Tumut likes beer, so it's a good, good safe bet. So I came back and told my best friend about it and of course he went, I'm in, let's do it. I think, to be honest, for a long time, I think most of Tumut didn't even realise we were here. Um, we've had, recently, we've had a really like, fantastic response. We've had a really positive response from everybody, um, but we haven't necessarily seen that returned in the, in the venue. So I think everybody wants to see it succeed and everybody wants to, to is, is, loves the idea of it, but not everybody has found their way down here to try the beer or to give it a go. We started off with four beers, that very, very quickly went to eight. Um, we, we currently sell about 15 versions in bottles at the moment. Um, they obviously vary for, throughout the year because we can't produce all of those all the time. Yeah, so the, the Sunday sessions are a very new thing. So far they've been great. Um, really, really good response from, from customers. Had some really good local acts in too. It is nice to have a bit of a choice. Uh, it's a very different atmosphere. Look, it's, the thing about craft beer for a start is that it's, it's not like any other alco alcohol venue. It's, it's there, it's about the experience of the product. It's about having a smaller quantity, basically paying a premium price for something a bit, a bit different and a bit better. Uh, I think a lot of people don't realise uh, that, that most of the Australian beer, most beer you can in Australia is not Australian owned. I think it's about 95% now. Um, and experiencing local produce. You know, everybody, everybody who comes in here asks where our malt comes from, where do our hops come from? You know, do we produce, do we, do we source all of our ingredients locally? And, and so that's, it's always at the forefront of their mind. It's also a, a big tourist attraction. You know, people come in and they're, they're interested in, in what it is we're doing and how we do it. They want to see the equipment. And so I, I think it's really good for the region.